help me give a warm welcome to NBA champion and finals MVP, the hottest man in the world, Kevin Durant. How y'all doing today? Nice. All right, I have the pleasure of asking him a few questions here. We're so very fortunate and honored to have him here in Spokane at Hoop Fest. But this isn't the first time you've been to Spokane. It's certainly not the first time you've been to the state of Washington now. And we missed you. So tell me a little bit. Your career started with obviously in Seattle. Tell me what couple fond memories of being with the Supersonics in this great state of Washington. Well, kind of, well, technically my career kind of started here. This is the last place I played college basketball. Oh, I said I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to bring it up. So, uh, you know, this is where I kind of got started and then going to Seattle was one of the best years of my life, man. I always gonna, I'm always going to be a part of this, the whole state of Washington and Seattle as well. So, it um, feels good to you know, be here today. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. All right, so you're coming off obviously a pretty intense moment in your career, kind of hit the pinnacle. What was that experience like? Like, how did you take it up a level, your intensity? Uh, and what was the, the kind of the feeling of finally getting to the top? It was fun, man. It was a fun ride. You know, it's kind of I'm a little depressed now that it's over. It was so much fun. <laughs> um, and to, to be a champion and to, to win the way we did. And, the selflessness we showed as a group, that, that's what basketball is all about. So it feels great to be a part of something special like that. All right, you just said it's kind of sad that it's over. So I know you've been celebrating lots of smiles, but you know, when do you really start to put the work in for next season? When does that grind start again for you? Soon, soon. I mean, I definitely want to give myself a proper amount of rest before I go into next season as I get older. And, um, but in a couple of weeks, I'll get back to working out, getting ready to, you know, try to repeat. That's right. That's right. All right. So I was, a, I got to stand with KD here for a few minutes, and I had to tell him about what Hoop Fest is, the largest three-on-three -on, -three on the planet Earth, 6,000 teams, 24,000 players. There's nothing else like it. Did you play three-on-three -three ball growing up? Yeah, we had a we had a tournament called Hoop It Up in my in my neighborhood. It would be this hot and this many court well not this many courts, but it'd be a lot of basketball out there. So that's why I learned really how to just, you know, the competitive nature of just playing outdoors and playing in the heat. It, it's another level of focus you have to have. So I, I definitely commend you guys for playing out here. Yeah, lots of love. So tell me a little bit. We talked about three on three basketball. You said the heat, the adversity, you're playing on the streets. What type of like toughness does street basketball bring to you that you kind of, you know, you apply to your game now in the NBA? Well, I grew up playing street basketball. That's how I, that's how I hone my skills and, you know, getting knocked down and scraped up and, ba and bumps and bruises. That's just a part of everyday life playing on the streets. But um, for the most part, man, you just you want that respect. And I think when you go out there and get that respect amongst your neighborhood, you can take that anywhere. So um, you know, it's taking me across the country here to Spokane right now, watch you guys and. You know, it started from playing street ball. Yep, I like it. I like it. All right, so we got a lot of kids. Now, everyone at Hoop Fest, we got all ages, sizes, shapes, types of athletes, but we got a lot of kids. You know, we got a lot of young uh, athletes, both male and female. What advice do you give them? It's summertime now, right? So what advice do you give them so they can improve their game in the summertime? Man, come outside and play in the heat. You know, go grab your crew and go to the next neighborhood and play their crew. And just have some fun, man. It's just all about enjoying your friends in the summer and getting better with the game and, you know, enjoying the summer and, and, and enjoying just just playing in different places, man. You don't always have to just play in the gym now. It's the summertime. So you can go outdoors. You can play anywhere. So use that to your advantage. I like it. All right, you're known as Mr. Versatility. You guys see the banners, a lot of the, the, the messaging, always, always. Right? So what, tell me a little bit about the message and how, that, how your game has kind of brought that to life. I think somebody just hit a big shot over there. I hear some, <laughs> yeah. I hear some cheers over there. Um, but just always, you know, trying to 
go out there and get buckets any, any way I can, you know, whether it's from shooting threes to posting up to playing pick and roll, whatever. I just try to buckets as many different ways as I can, try to be unpredictable out there. And then the other always is just me, me being me, always sticking to what I've been doing since I came into the league. And no matter what goes on around me, just, you know, stand true to those, you know, values and that, you know, that I learned as a kid, as a basketball player, and, just, you know, continue to keep grinding. Now, along with that, you released some pretty sweet shoes, right? The KD Tans, they were released here first at Hoop Fest. We're always really lucky to have a great partnership yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these are the KD 10 fingerprints. What does that mean? What does it represent? Well, just keeping, you know, imprint on the game, you know, always impacting the game some type of way. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it takes a while to, to figure it out, but. Once you do, it's, that's when you, 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 know, you, you think you have the game kind of figured out. You know? And then after that, you're always learning on top of you know, having a different impact. Every time I was trying to have more and more of an impact in different ways. So you know, that's how I look at having your fingerprints on the game. I like it. All right, last question. You are literally on top of the world right now. And you chose, he chose to come here to Spokane, Washington to Hoop Fest. Why is it so important to you to stay close to the grassroots? Why is it so important to you to stay close to the game? I mean, without the game, then I don't, I don't know where we wouldn't be here. <laughs> so it's always about the game, everything else. We all going to come and go, but the game is always forever. So you got to give back to the game, man. That's the most it. important thing. I love it. So. A big, big thank you from Spokane Hoop Fest, from the city of Spokane, to all of you for coming out. I think we may have some. We have a few young athletes that are waiting for a chance to play with Mr. Duran himself. So at this time, we're going to bring out a couple of athletes to come out and have a good time. Yeah.